Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever. So, uh, you guys might notice the screen gets a little, is going to get a little wonky when I spin it for some reason, don't know why. Um, there's definitely something going on on my computer, but I gotta do some, some sleuthing, figure out what it is. But we're not going to be doing much looking around today. Uh, today's going to be a little shorter episode, it's only going to be about 10 minutes. Uh, main reason why is because this episode is all about uh, trying to figure out why we're losing so much money. Or trying to figure out, sorry, how we're going to recoup our losses here. So right now, if you look, we're losing a lot of money right here on this line. Uh, I'm going to select it, go to the vehicle here. And we're just going to zoom into it. So right now, this line on its own is making us lose. We've, we've lost $71,000 on this thing. Um, to be 100% honest, it's not that bad. As you can see here, it's maybe two or three deliveries away from turning a profit. Um, line 11, which is right here, um, that is almost $6,000 in the hole. To be honest, I don't know if that's actually going to turn a profit or not. Um, overall, we're 8.4 or eight and a half million dollars um, in the hole right now um, pretty much every 30 days or so or every 10 50 minutes in game we're basically not making money but we're also not losing money at the same time which isn't that bad um, but the fact that right now we technically owe more money than we owe not that great now, it does show here for the first time we have made a profit, which is good. But the main issue here is that we're actually depending way too much on the food um, as a priority um, moneymaker. Um, if we have any more issues with the distribution of food, which is highly probable, um, we're going to run into situations where, to be 100% honest with you, we're not going to be able to sustain or sustain this this co this company. We'll have to dissolve and pretty much start a new one. Um, one of the main problems I think is that a we're dependent mostly on food, uh, and then b we're also massively dependent on basically just two ways of making money. Um, or we're sorry, we're just we're too uh, centric. Uh, we kind of grew a little too fast. We should have gone with just moving people around for short term. Um, grown the three towns together and then move the people through those three towns and go from there. Fortunately, I did too much too fast. And I feel like I kind of kind of blew it a little bit. It's one of the things, right, when you play uh, a game like this, you do kind of, especially with Let's Players, right? You, you try to make it a little bit more... Uh, a little fun to watch and, and all that stuff. Um, as you can see, we are slowly coming out of the, the basement here. I mean, it does say we made fifty-five thousand dollars this year, fifty-seven thousand. It does say we have a, you know, a, a positive balance of uh, one thousand, uh, hundred thousand. But if you notice for a split second there, it did drop into the minuses. Um, we're paying almost eighty-five thousand dollars a year just in loan interest, um, and we haven't even paid off our loans. We have eight point five million dollars in loans. Um, pretty much, I think we're in a, we're definitely in a bad spot. Um, if we were to dissolve right now, everything but our passenger line, um, we'd be we'd be pretty good. We'd be making a lot of money. Um, we'd be in the green, pretty good. Um, it'd take us a little while to pay off our debts, and we wouldn't have the food there to to subsidize, right? So, kind of good kind of bad um i feel as though we definitely need to decide um how we're going to do this as you can see here i mean we're producing food now but we're not producing it at a high enough rate any um uh, you know to get the trucks going um I mean, we're definitely in that situation where I mean, one more delivery and that should send this guy, but this train I don't think will ever make money um, at this current rate. Um, it's one of those sad, sad things that's that's going to happen. 
full train should go probably with this next delivery um, of food. But to be honest with you, I think the only way we'll be able to substantially make money from this is uh, if I basically let the time just flow for a while and just let it go and it paid off the debt. Um, and then we grew extremely, and I mean extremely slowly, which I have to admit, I can't see being fun for you guys to watch. Um, yeah, train 9 is just sitting there waiting. It just cost us another $14,000. Um, and it's still waiting for more food. Like More food is actually being deployed to the other line at this point. Which kind of kind of sucks. There we go. So obviously we want to watch this guy. Yeah, as you can see here, the train itself is fine, but my I get a little bit of a jankiness when I turn for some reason. I'm gonna have to look it up. There's something going on on my computer probably in the background somewhere. Every now and then it happens with recordings. Uh, those of you guys who watch some of my videos, you'll notice that when I zoom in and out, sometimes the Supreme Ruler does the same thing. Um, look at that, 200 grand. The moment we hit 500, I'm paying off a loan. Um, which might actually be this delivery. So, I mean, we might actually knock down some of our debt, which is good. Because the faster we can pay off our debt, the faster we can actually get to actually investing money in ourselves. Look at that. 123,000 and it's still 56,000 in the hole for us. Uh, obviously I don't have the cam on, but you guys would see me shaking my head right now, just looking at this thing, trying to figure out like where, where I could cut corners maybe, like what I could do to maybe make some money. I could sell, um, I could. Let's see, as you can see here, we don't have enough. Stuff there at all. Now it does say that, oh, there we go. So it looks like suppliers are, supply from the food factory is actually going up now. Oh yeah, there we go. So I mean, it is starting to supply more, which is good. You can see here it's got tons of stuff stored. And there's almost 700 items stored. It can send 488. I mean, one of the things I can do is just tell the train to go and not worry about being full. Which is actually what I'm going to tell them to do. For now. They're just going to go show up, grab what they can, and then leave. They need to make us money. That's the thing, right? They they need to make us money. If they don't, if if they don't make us money, we're we're not going anywhere. We're we're pretty much stuck. So, fingers crossed that uh, we keep these things going. So we just started a new year as well. Ah, so there we go. So train three is already making us more money than it's costing us, which is good. And then train two, which it should be entering. Oh, geez, okay, it was on this side. Okay, the way the camera was on there, it kind of threw me off a little bit. It is six thousand dollars in the hole. Now, if we look, line nine is going to make us more money in the next couple trips. Uh, 
how much? Yeah, they're not delivering enough. So there we go. We're going to have a bit of a problem here. Are the towns... You're only at 88%. You're at 67. And production's going down. That's not good. We're so heavily invested in food that... Uh, I think I may have made a, oh, there we go, we're over 500 grand, we're paying off a loan. Boom, just paid off 500,000 on our loan. So we are steadily making money, which is good. Well, actually, now that I look at this, we only have one line not making us money. And that's line 11, which is the line here at Ramsgate. Which, I mean, over time, it should start making us money. Because if I check uh, the vehicles, and if we go by the line, yeah, everything on line 11 is losing money so far. But that's not the big deal. The big deal is that it's supply. We're not planning on making money from these things um, in the short term. It's the long term we plan on making money. And the whole point for these guys is to get people to the trains excuse me, to the train station so that we can get people out of town. Um, to the other towns, obviously. Uh, hopefully we'll also be able to figure out where we're going to put the... Uh, the food as well. Figure out which area it's going to come out of, this side or this side. Right now and come over here and then kind of go up maybe. We might have to move this line out further. I'm really gonna have to contemplate this whole thing. It's got nothing on it. Yeah, this whole little thing here, I think I'm going to have to re redesign, maybe get the line to come here a little further out. And have this come out, up and over. And then, sorry about that, come screaming off this way. But, that's going to be the end of this episode, because like I said, I just want to do a quick, uh, quick and easy one today. Um, I think what I'm probably going to do is, uh, off screen, let this run for a little bit try to make some uh, heads or tails out of what's causing these issues with the uh, with OBS and the screen tear in there when I do the little turns when I do this. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.